Hello everybody, this is Alexey Kavazin, president of Firebird Foundation. And today I would like to tell you about two recent migrations for pretty large databases. One is 1.5 terabytes and another is 810 gigabytes. So recently companies which performed the migration completed these migrations after the, some preparations and I would like to share with you more details about, about how it was, what was the pain points, <coughs> what was the hardware used and more interesting details. First, let's consider hardware specifications of the servers which were used for the migration. For the first database, uh, which is 1.5 terabytes, uh, the server has Windows Server and it is a physical server with AMD processors, two processors, totally 32 cores, up to 64 threads. It has SSDs and VMware and 521 gigabytes of RAM. Also, this server is running original version 3.0 uh, HQ Bird. It is important to say because uh, companies use it HQBird features of parallel backup to perform, to complete the backup in the designated time frame, much faster than usual. The second server is 810 gigabytes database. It is running Linux. It is running in Oracle Cloud, so it's a virtual machine with fast I.O. disk plan. It has 24 cores and also running uh, Firebird 3 as original version. And let's see how it was. So backup time for 1.5 terabyte database was less than two hours. Uh, it's pretty impressive uh, because this is pretty large database. Uh, the main reason why it was so fast, uh, because of the proper parameters using the service manager and 24 parallel threads. It's possible to use parallel backup in uh, Firebird 3 with HQBird. And as a result, two, less than two hours, 6,325 seconds. Restore was more, uh, but also was very fast. As you can see, it was less than 10 hours. And the parameters used was also service manager, so through services API and 24 parallel threads. It is interesting to see the breakdown of uh, Restore steps. The first step to create a metadata from the backup was really fast, like less than four seconds. After that, Firebird spent 6,000 seconds to restore data, to insert all data, and uh, 29,000 of seconds was to create indexes, create indices for this database. So as you can see, uh, here we see pretty typical picture when we have a backup, two hours, uh, 10 hours restore, uh, and uh, time to create indexes. Indexes in restoring database is three, four times more than time to restore data. Backup for the second database which is 810 gigabytes, has demonstrated a bit different picture. The backup was done with 10 parallel threads and the backup time was less than six hours. Of course, it is more than two hours for 1.5 terabytes, but we should not compare the times directly because uh, these databases are totally different and uh, hardware and virtual machine are also 
different. So this is just as an as an example how much time backup for database of this size uh, could take. However, what is interesting that Restore was much much faster than backup. Actually, it took when less than two hours. Uh, Restore was done on the different virtual machine, so of course it could make the reason. But what what is interesting that the uh, breakdown of Restore shows us that time to restore data and time to restore indices was like equal, which is of course which is really really unusual. Uh, usually, uh, time to create indexes indices is more than time to insert data, as we saw in the previous uh, example. Uh, so why why this happened? Why Restore is faster than backup? Uh, there are three main reasons why Restore can be much faster than the backup. So obvious reason, but if we are running on the new virtual machine or on the new server, uh, in this case, the new virtual machine probably could be on the new host with the new hardware. It could be simply fast. Uh, using more parallel threads, also in more effective way. Uh, but in this case, it was only 12, so probably it could contribute like 20% more, but not much. And the third reason probably is the biggest, and probably this is... Uh, it explains why the backup was so slow. Uh, but in the original database, there were a lot of garbage. Uh, garbage uh, in the sense of uh, old record versions, which database uh, contains after, for example, mass deletes or mass updates. Even if you are doing the JBAC with suppressed garbage collection option, option minus G, the backup uh, process should bypass, should ignore records, uh, record versions, old record versions, and it can take significant time, as we can see. Of course, these backup and restorers were not the only steps of the migration. Uh, here on this slide, I would like to discuss a bit the timeline, the plan for the problemless migration of the really big databases. So how it was done in general? Of course, it started several months ago and it started with the collecting traces from the original database. The idea of uh, the first two steps, collect traces and after that create using these queries the test suite to reproduce the load of the real database of the real users on the Firebird 5. When you are dealing, when you are having such a big database, it is absolutely not acceptable to encounter problems which are okay for less, you know, for smaller databases. If some query will start to work slower than it was on the big database uh, with thousands of connections, uh, with large e-commerce solution, it can lead to really, really big loss of money. So definitely for such big migrations, it is necessary to perform the this simulation. And uh, of course, it is not a kind of cheap or really fast, really fast process, but it's, it gives you the warranty. It guarantees that uh, after the migration, all queries will work uh, on the same level or even better. During the test, during the simulations, uh, which includes the parallel simulations when many parallel threads run the uh, test uh, 
uh, queries based on the real traces, uh, we have found that some traces uh, contains queries contains problems which could be addressed in Fiber 3, so before the migration. So it works like an optimization also. And of course, there, there were some queries which were not possible to address to improve in Fiber 3 and to change them, uh, it was necessary to create a post-migration script to fix the things in Fiber 5. And of course, it means that some heavy testing of applications so that they don't give any error or give something like this. After that, uh, it was done a series of test conversions of databases to uh, version 5. It is a really important step for the big database because test conversions have shown some problem which requires changes in Firebird configuration and even upgrade of update of Firebird versions to fix some problems. And uh, also the even the simple question what is the best number of parallel threads for this specific configuration uh, when you are really tight in time and you need to perform the migration in like 24 hours. Uh, you cannot you cannot afford experiments during the migration during the actual migration. You need to address it before the real migration happened. So after that, after all was checked and uh, the best configurations for backup and restore, the best configuration for Firebird was found. Real migration happened. Uh, of course, the next step after the backup and restore is also the recompilation of metadata to uh, make all metadata in the database compatible, uh, not only compatible with Firebird 5, but uh, native to Firebird 5. Because when you are performing the backup and restore, all stored procedures, triggers, views, and so on, they are not being recompiled. The BLR, the binary language representation, is being uh, transferred from the backup in untouched form and as a result uh, it is possible that there is a source which is not compatible with Fiber 5 but uh, it will work until the first change of the uh, of this stored procedure or trigger. And of course now there is a time time frame when uh, it is necessary to closely watch what is going on in the database, to do trace again, to collect trace, uh, to catch all errors, all instabilities, which is also could require some actions. Uh, however, this is of course this is for you know really big databases. If you are thinking to do the restore. Uh, to do the migration and you are worried that oh, your, my database is too big for it, I need to plan. Yes, of course you need to plan. However, uh, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Read this practical migration guide to Firebird 5. Uh, I already spoke about it several times, but it's you know really a good collection of practical tips. And simply go away. Don't, of course, don't jump into the water, but don't be afraid to swim. So thank you for attention. I hope this video will help you to decide to go to Firebird 5, you know, straight to Firebird 5. Uh, and if you have any questions, please feel free to send a mail to me to, to this email. Thank you.